Hi folks, this is instructional video for recorded presentations, which is also known as online assignment 5, OA5. Uh, let's get started. If you have seen the document on recorded presentations that I uploaded on Moodle under the folder of recorded presentation, you may know that I have given you three questions for this presentation that you need to answer. Uh, out of these three questions, you can answer any two. In other words, you have choice here. And this I have mentioned here as well that attempt any two questions for the recorded presentation. Another important thing for you to know is that you do not have to appear in the video. Only show us your PowerPoint, what you have on your PowerPoint slides and explain it to us. <clears throat> now you may have questions that, um, what, how can I uh, record my presentation? Or what tool I can use to record my presentation? You can use any of these tools that you see here. You can use Zoom that I have used for recording all my lectures, for recording all my presentations for you. You can also use PowerPoint. Uh, if you see here all the functions uh, on the top of the PowerPoint screen, you see this function slideshow. If you hit this button, it will give you the recording option. That is how you can record a PowerPoint presentation for, uh, for your uh, recorded presentation. You can also do that by using your cell phone. All you need to do is have your PowerPoint presentation on, like uh, show us your what you have on your PowerPoint presentation by using your phone and then explain it to us. So you can use whatever way works for you. In this presentation, I am going to answer all possible questions that you may have regarding uh, recorded presentations. <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to tell you is that I want you to record a three minute long video. Uh, the duration should be at least three minutes. Uh, please make sure uh, or try your best that uh, your presentation does not exceed four minutes. It will be too long. In this three minute long video, make sure that you spend at least 90 seconds for answering each question. You have to answer two questions in total. To repeat, make sure that in your three minute long video, you spend at least 90 seconds for answering one question. Uh, and 90 seconds for, one qu for uh, each question in total, that will make three minute long presentation. Well, here is the question, question number one. And uh, for the questions, uh, you may see that all these questions actually require your, they, they evaluate your critical thinking ability. And with that, they also evaluate uh, the application of knowledge on your part. So ref please refer to the lectures on public relations and lecture on advertising and also lecture on online journalism. Also, uh, what you have read in the notes that I shared with you based on your learning from lectures and the notes, please, uh, now is the time that how you translate your learning in the form of your presentation. So this is how you relate your learning with the everyday life, with different examples that you see in your surroundings. Um, uh, like I said, and I keep saying this, that this presentation actually evaluates your critical thinking ability and with that the application of knowledge. Um, also, you must know that these questions uh, require, the answers of these questions require subjective approach. Uh, in a way, you can say that I want your personal narratives and describe your narratives in a way that uh, reflect your understanding and your ability to relate your knowledge with with your surroundings. Uh, so this is what we are going to do here. Here is the question number one that you see on the screen. It says that what sort of uh, advertisement persuades you and based on your answer, what do you think? What function does the advertising uh, perform in your life? <clears throat> 